to donate. So we're all just trying to do our part to help people to help those that are insecure right now. Stop to get paint. So wait, I was in the project. Thank you, sir, Carlisle, PA. Thank you, Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Bill. From Pennsylvania to Ohio, that state now set to roll out more rules for those living there, except for millions. Talk to the governor, Mike DeWine, about that live when we come back. I'm your mother-in-law, and I like to question your every move. I just love to... 336. In the Pacific Northwest, you know what it's like to experience a breath of fresh air. Stepping in the front door, we want you to have that same feeling. At Pyramid Heating and Cooling, our mission is to create healthy, comfortable, efficient indoor environments. As a carrier factory authorized dealer, we work to provide customers the best savings and financing available. Call today to save up to $3,800 on qualified systems by carrier. Turn to the experts at Pyramid Heating and Cooling and thrive in the great indoors. When weather changes in an instant, you can always get first live local weather coverage here again on the Fox 12 app. A former nurse in Michigan is trying to spread some awareness about how you can get contaminated despite your good intentions. This is called cross-contamination. There's no point in wearing gloves if you're not gonna wash your hands every time you touch something. There's no point. And she says on a recent shopping trip, she noticed a lot of people wearing gloves, which she thought was great. However, she also saw a lot of cross-contamination. In the video, she goes on to explain just how that works using a situation that could happen to anyone at the grocery store. She wore gloves and put her hands in a plate of paint to show the germs that you could pick up from things at the store. Then she grabbed a piece of cardboard as if it were a cell phone. She also scratched her nose with her gloved hand. The paint eventually gets on her face just as germs would get on her face. The nurse says that while wearing gloves is a good idea, it does not work if you don't keep them sterile. A local group is helping hundreds of seniors in our area, but it's in danger of having to stop the campaign. We recently told you about Capital Senior Services. Over the past few weeks, the group has been traveling all around the Salem area to check on senior citizens and delivering much needed supplies from groceries to toilet paper free of charge. The organizer says the group is now getting flooded with calls for help. In fact, it's made more than 500 visits just this past week alone, but funding is running very low. The goal is to raise people like Mildred, whose, parent, whose daughter was stuck in New York, who, when I went into her home, if she dropped her groceries, her fridge was com like almost completely bare. Like, those are the people. And I'm thinking, how many more Mildreds are there out there? And can I get to them? Do I, am I gonna have enough funds to do that? That's, that's the nightmares I have every night. And there's not gonna be seniors if we don't step up and take care of them. She says the group has all the volunteers they need and they're getting discounted supplies from local grocers, but they need funds to help keep up with the demand. A six-year-old boy is celebrating with the help of some neighbors after finishing his final round of chemo. Jackson is a student at Hollydale Elementary in oh, Russia. Oh, right here. He's been here for the last three and a half years. Wait, is that by my school? That's in the loopy loops. The bell to signal his last treatment. So organizers threw really? social distancing. Yeah. Instead, parents, right now? They are grateful. It has to be right now. It doesn't say live. Fire and police joined in on the fun yesterday. 
You mean live? All of people are oh, yeah. <laughs> responders with a support <laughs> Wow. Love seeing this. The line of cars and trucks wound its way by fire stations, police stations, and hospitals yesterday. Many of those in the convoy honked horns and waved flags and banners. Not public. Seeing uh, events like this come out, or people come out like this for events to uh, show their appreciation for what we're, what we're doing. You know, it's our day job, but at the same time, we really just enjoy you know, seeing the interaction with the community and seeing that they really appreciate us. Um, that was like six minutes. So please.